my god, open that door now. I'm off. Tell a bit of a lie there. Bonsoir, Jim Appel, big fat liar. You might want to watch my last video before you watch this one. There is currently a Sims revolution happening on Sims Twitter and I am big fat here for it. I'm absolutely living for it. It's never brought me so much joy and it makes me all around happy. So I'm happy with the energy that was created in the Sims community today and let's go forth and prosper. Oh my God fucking god is journey by two rubbing off on us first thing that we're going to talk about is pollination technician number seven i mean i was writing the notes for this one i actually had to screenshot a picture of my keyboard to my friends because i could not for the life of me find the hashtag but truth be told it was there first off oh my fucking god he fucking did second off had you kids had you out because he is snatching everybody well one person but you know what if you snatch one person you might as well snatch them all because you're gonna go to jail anyway do you know what i mean take that back i'm not saying you might as well snatch more than one person i'm saying just don't snatch Snatch anybody because one is as bad as all. Do you know what I mean? Nobody wants to be anyway. You just get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> also, for the ease of my asthma, because I am an asthma ridden girl, I'm going to nickname him Polly because I'm, I'm not saying pollination technician number seven all the time. So, Polly is an outgoing little alien actually. He's quite charismatic. His aspiration is popularity. I mean, they do say serial killers tend to be popular because that's how they get away with it. So, I'm not you know i'm not necessarily saying the two are the same maybe that is what i'm saying maybe it is he cares about the environment love that for him entertainment and food he also cares about weather and money and is not interested in the least about sci-fi which might seem odd and at first i was like oh haha -ha, that's ironic but then i thought well i'm english and i don't necessarily agree or i'm entertained by either the british empire or the royal family so but i do like honestly i do like diana i do she was the people's princess so let's not maybe i you know you know what maybe I am loving up the English stereotype, just not the racism. He also has a healthy interest in crime, which fully reflects his life, honestly, because he is pretty much a kleptomaniac, but of Sims. So kind of a kidnapper, but abductor. That's the one. He is actually part of the infamous Caliente family, which if Bella or Mortma happen to be watching this, just honestly back away, babes. Pretend you do not see him. Do not communicate with the fucking Calientes because it might seem like a good idea to look out of a telescope, but then you're an infamous character in the Sims franchise who still quite hasn't been found. Also, it's not a coinky dink that the Calientes came a pleasant view the night that Belagoth was abducted and also they have alien relatives I'm just saying it's also not quinky dink that one of the Caliente sisters is now dating Mortimer because just run Bella babe run his connection with the Caliente family starts with the abduction of Nesta then went on to have a human alien hybrid baby called Flamenco Caliente who then went on to marry Nyha Caliente not the imposter that we see in The Sims 4 I do not know her if she walked down the street uh, I wouldn't know a thing who is she? where did you find her? are you on drugs? are you fucking on Drugs. Why do I want Nyhat back? Jessica, what is this behaviour? Anyway, he married Nyhat and then they had the infamous Nina and Dana Caliente twins. So the Caliente twins have alien blood from our little Polly number seven. But the Sims 4 really did say, I'm just going to take all of this law that we've built up upon generations of gameplay. And I'm just going to say, fuck the shit out melt and pin it as an alternate timeline. But news flash, babes. This is to the Sims team, you big, fat, white, nasty, smelling, fair bitch. All in the timelines can still have have law. I've read enough fan fiction to know that one hen. Next up we've got my babe Agnes Crumblebottom. Oh she is a bitch. She is a bitch. Don't get it twisted. Her heart is as dead as the Sims 2 exchange website babe which I also want to do an entire history on that one. Keep your eyes out because that one gets you fucking excited. Oh my god the Sims you know save it save it for the video save it for the video. I do already have a full Agnes Crumblebottom history of which I'll link if, up here if I remember. If not you can just search on the Uton students Agnes Crumblebottom and history of because I've already covered it and Jesus Christ this story stuck with me not because not in like the Bella Goth way where a story sticks with you because you think fuck will we ever solve this mystery it stuck with me more in the sense of like Jesus this is quite some heavy stuff for a sim story you're like shit just want to back she was supposed to marry and have a child with this man whose name I 
I forget it. It's in the it's in the long video. The nursery was half ready and everything. They had a happy life together. They were excited to, you know, make and birth a baby. The man died and then with that her entire dreams and aspirations died too. She never really moved on. The nursery is still there, half finished. And then in her old age, she just took to not going to therapy and instead showing any signs of hatred towards people that show romance. So if you go to community lot in the Sims 1 or 2 and you're on a date, better keep an eye for Zelina. <laughs> Nosebleed fits has had an effect on me. I apologise but you want to watch out because she will smack you with her handbag and as she says on Twitter it's not light it's heavy <laughs> I love her she is a hostile bitch and you know what the Twitter account for Agnes Crumplebottom lives up to her legacy and I'm proud of it honestly Agnes Crumplebottom has character development but not necessarily in the stereotypical positive way but it's character development nonetheless and I'm here and I support her also I, I have felt personally victimised by the Agnes Crumplebottom Twitter account it's snowing where I am right now by the way so if you can hear little droplets in the window I can't change the weather babe I'm not God Next up is the character or characters, should I say, that I have personally rebranded to on Twitter. And that is The Sims 2 Bus, but also The Sims 2 Bus Driver because I dearly missed her, honestly. She was iconic. She was caring. She took care of my Sims when Lord knows I wasn't because I play on fast mode. And getting rid of The Sims 2 Bus and Bus Driver has left a gaping wound in my heart that The Sims 4 haven't filled because now my kid just apparates off to school. Where is the community building? I want someone to care for my Sim. I want someone to provide that nurturing that I make them go without. So the school bus would turn up at your house an hour before school. If you've played The Sims 1 and The Sims 3, you know this, but just in case you're a Sims phone newbie, <gasps> Bob newbie, just in case you're a Bob newbie, so the school bus would turn up at your house an hour before you had to school and it would like literally boom to try and get your goods to stick out on the bus. And if your Sims are in a good mood, don't get me wrong, they'd hop, skip and a jump onto that bus. And if your Sims are in a bad mood, it took some convincing, babe. But if you miss the school bus, you lost a grade instantly at school. And the bus driver would give the little child or your teenager a little wave like, hello, as I got on the bus and I loved that honestly I really did I'm romanticizing things yes but you know what let me to COVID and it also when your, your child got off the bus when they got dropped back off if your child was doing well in school they'd pick up that pick out the report card and like wave it about and go show the closest parent but if they're done bad they'd scrunch it into a little ball and like shove it in the pocket which can relate I'm on report for all of secondary school and I think I don't really think I showed my parents it I miss it I miss a school bus and also in the sims 2 in the sims 2 if you had a car as well you could drive your kids to school I love I just miss I miss my Mobility, social mobility for Sims in 2021, please. Also, each town had pre made bus drivers, which I didn't actually know until I was researching this. That each town had its own ones, but Pleasant View has a couple, but my favourite is David Thompson. I am simping over him, but just let me have my moment, babe. He is, in fact, single, which is, I am happy to know. And he's got the romance aspiration. He can cook, he's smart, he can clean. He's basically the perfect man, but not for me. The only man I support is our Lord and Savior, Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy. Next, I've talked about the infamous Bob and Betty newbie and again <laughs> if you're a newbie I already have a full-on video about them but it's not the entire history of the newbie family it's the entire history of the Broke family because families and earlier sims games are all interconnected my darlings but Jesus these are probably the most infamous sims if you play the sims 1 then you'll know this like if you started on the sims 1 and you played the tutorial you're going to know Bob and Betty newbie because they were the tutorial family I just love them I miss them and I need them and they have their own Twitter account right where Betty <laughs> Betty tweets like a boomer using Facebook and honestly I am here for it. I never want this revolution to end. Lastly, we're going to talk about the social bunny and I miss the social bunny daily. I don't necessarily need him because I'm I'm quite debilitatingly introverted but I think, you know what, I think a lot of YouTubers are like that, specifically gaming YouTubers and even more specific than that, specifically Sims gaming YouTubers. So basically the social bunny kind of replaced the tragic clown from The Sims 1. The tragic clown turned up if your overall mood was low and then he'd try and make you feel better but he'd fail because he's the tragic clown. That's tragic. And he'd try and crack jokes but they're just pure shite so your mood would just get even worse but the social bunny the social bunny was a cultural reset because it actually helped <laughs> oh can you imagine now if we had like the tragic clown in the sims 3 and it got replaced by the social bunny in the sims 4 that just helped your sims i'd be the first to make a video saying where is the difficulty but you know what i was a child and i appreciate the help help and hand there so the social bunny would come on you if your social need was low and it kind of get you back up there kind of like the aspiration doctor in the sims 2 as well the therapist guy who'd like come floating down and rise your aspiration if it was too low. I loved that. They'd also only be seen by the sim that needed it as well so you know if your other sim was a socialite the social need was as high as it could be they wouldn't see the social bunny so. And you can also have multiple social bunnies on the same property and they can interact with each other but your own personal sims can't see the other's social bunnies. They also have a twitter account as well. I retweeted a roll call tweet of all the sims accounts that have been made so definitely check that out if you want to see them because there's so fucking many Jesus Christ. 
Honestly, there's absolutely loads more that I could have talked about in this video and I, I, I had to hold myself back and only pick a select few because so many of them deserve their own video talking about them. And I just want to say, I want to use this moment to say I'm bringing the entire history of series back. I absolutely loved that series. And unfortunately, my mental health got in the way of it because I thought that nobody would want to see it, but I enjoy it, which is why I make content. YouTube studio, I don't know her. I don't check her. If a video does bad, I'm not to know. <laughs> oh, but I'm excited. I've never feel, felt so connected to a series. And I'm really glad to bring her back. I love her. I love her. Never thought she'd use my history degree, but here we are, hen. Here we are. And this entire Twitter revolution is also my favourite thing that I've seen unfold in the Sims community because it's so absurd. But I find it absolutely hilarious. I said it yesterday, but this is exactly my type of humour. This is grassroots change. This is the equivalent of standing outside a year with pitchforks. Like, <laughs> give us the law. But yeah, I, I think underneath it all as well, there is a really strong message of like, listen to us. We want these things. We need these things. I'm just kind of doing you a favour by presenting it in a funny way, <laughs> not in an attacking way. There's little things that make a difference in the Sims franchise, I think. Being on edge when you're on a date in case Crumple Bottom turns up and smacks you with the handbag. The little interaction between the bus driver and the child, like waving at each other as they're going to school. And also default Sims having entire family trees and law before you've even played with them. I just, I want it all back. However, I will say in defence of the Sims 4, it is impressing me lately. Like a lot of the stuff that is being introduced, like lifestyles and everything like that. It's impressing me. The law that was introduced with the Sims 4 Paranormal Stuff Pack, I think we're, we're on a good track right now. And I think that the Sims team is listening to us. I just think that sometimes there's a bit of delay because things take time to reproduce. But I'm also a bit skeptical because there are just some inherent faults with the Sims 4 as a game. And some things I'm like, can we even, can this be done? At best, this stuff gets implemented to the game. At worst, it doesn't. <laughs> and in the middle is the here and our critique and they're gonna put it in The Sims 5, but the better, because I don't think my asthma could cope with how many bitching videos I'd have to make if this kind of stuff wasn't included in The Sims 5 and wasn't introduced. So like, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Are you also a self-proclaimed half for law? Yes, let me know. I love you all. Thank you all very, very much for watching. And what's my outro? Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.